Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com. Great to see you all again. Hope you're all doing extremely well. Be quick or be dead. From the Fear of the Dark album, Yannick Gears and uh, Bruce Dickinson wrote this one. So be Yannick Gears, you know it's going to have a bouncy riff, so you can bounce around the stage when he's playing this one. Really is a fun little riff to play. Structure's not too bad on this one. It kind of keeps to this intro, verse, bridge, chorus. Kind of very easy, not big, big riffs like some of the other songs that we've liked at in the past. If this is your first time to the channel, it's great to see you. If you're an Iron Maiden fan, this really is the place to be. Just click on that subscribe button. Don't forget, click on that bell. That way you will be notified whenever I'm posting anything new to the channel. Lesson, I am covering all of the parts Yannick Gear plays apart from the guitar solo. So everything else is gonna be included in this lesson. The guitar solo, I am gonna be doing that and that's gonna be on my premium channel. Uh, if you haven't checked out the premium channel, do so. $6.99 and you get access to all the stuff that isn't available that I've done on YouTube. And some of it's because of all these big problems now that's happening on YouTube with the copyright. So some of it I put on there that was blocked previously, but I thought, now nah, let's put it on. Uh, that way you can have a little bit of fun and see some of the things that you've not been able to see before. Also, these guitar solos, these backing tracks like they will be for this song. Gonna do it where you've got uh, Dave Murray. I'm playing Dave Murray on the guitar, so you can play it Janet Gears. There's also gonna be a version where it's just the rest of the band, it's Steve and Nico. So again, you can really get into this song. So do check it out, $6.99. Really would appreciate your support so I can keep on making all these great videos for you. Well, at least I think they are anyway. And anyway, I know it's time for me to shut up. Let's get into this lesson and let me show you how to play Be Quick or Be Dead. So don't go away. Preview. Right, let's have a look at that opening riff by Yannick Gears. I'll uh, just quickly play it through and then I'll break it down for you. And they're really jumping around, a lot of pull-offs involved in this one. So we start off the riff, we're gonna start it off on third fret on the low E. Cross over to the octave, we're gonna do five fret on the D string. And then we pull off, now this is quite hard to do when you're playing it slower, but it's going, pull into that open string, and then we're gonna go and hit the open string again. So we get it. Then we've got first fret on the D string to pull off to the open. Then to third fret on the D to the open. Back to the first fret. And then an open, then we go back to the five. Now you can go to the open string, but what I've watched on the videos, and there's not that many around, but he does go to the five but you can go to the open D if you want, but you want to play it like Yannick Gears, you're going to the five back up here. So that's a bit of a leap backwards. So again. And then we do five back to the three. And then we repeat. This time we don't go to the five, we go to the three on the A. And then we repeat the whole riff again. Now both guitars are playing the same line on this part. So Dave Murray is playing exactly the same as what's going on. Of course, the challenge on this is to get, as well as the speed on this, is the way that the three comes in on the upbeat of the bar previous. And you'll have heard that in the introduction that I've played. Of course, as per usual, tablature is included and also a backing track that you can play along with. So do take your time, but I, you will find it a little bit easier to play this riff when you're doing it faster. 
Uh, every time I played it slower, you're he, he, struggling with the pull-offs, but you get that speed. <laughs> kind of rolled a lot better when you're playing that. Now, from that section, we are going to be taking into the verse. Now, there is a little pull-off that we've got to play as we get into the verse. And it comes out of that last part with the three. Now, when you've done that last three, when you get up, you're going to go to first fret on the open string. Uh, first fret on the A string, on the open string. And you go to the open. And then you're going to play from 1st fret on the low E to 5 on the E. Now, if you want to slide in the finger or if you just want to hammer on. But that is then taking you into the main verse section. So again. And that, that is then taking you into the verse section, which is what we're going to look at now. So I'm just going to play the first part of the verse and then again, as usual, I'll break it down. Okay, so we are going to start, as we said, we've come in from that one to the three, and that is already into your verse. So we've got this, what we're playing. All going to be on this third fret of the low E string. Now, what we're playing there is we've got a group of four, first of all. And then we've got a group then of uh, seven. So we've got this. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. That's your rhythm. And then we're going to play a D power chord, D5, to a D sharp. That's your first one. Then we go back and we've got this, uh, the same line again. So we've got this four. But this time we're not going to play the full line. So we get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Then we're going to play a B flat to a C. Then we do a D sharp to a D. So that is your line. So you're just keeping them groups that 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3. So this is the second section of the verse. I'm just going to play it through and then break it down for you. Okay, uh, very, very similar in its rhythmic content here that we're playing, but we're playing this more as a power chord. So we're starting off on a C5 power chord, and we're gonna play one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Then we're gonna move down to the B flat, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, to an F, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Then we go back and we repeat. But instead of going down to the F, what we're going to do is this D sharp 
to the D, back to the D sharp. So we get, and then we repeat again. So that is the second section of the verse. Right, coming to the next section, this is more of an arpeggiated section. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be showing you what Dave Murray is doing because you will hear more of the line from this. So remember, this part is what Dave Murray is playing. So let me just play it through and then I'll break it down for you. <laughs> So we're going to start off with five on the D string. And then we're going to do to the B string, we're going to do a slide from eight to ten. Back to the eight on the B. And then moving down to seven on the G. So we go. Then we go back down to the five and we're going to do a slide from six on the B to eight. Down to the seven on the G and then back to the five on the D. So, so far we've got. Then we're going to play a slide from eight to 10 on the G string. Back to the eight on the G and then we're going to do five on the G, five on the D. Here you go. Then we've got this little turnaround riff, which is on the G string. Then we've got this little turnaround riff on the G string, which is eight at eight on the G. We've got three of them. Then we do seven, and then we have got five and five again on the G and B. That one's a little bit of a tricky one to get that picking action going. But that is that turnaround the whole way through. And then you repeat it. I just want to show you what Yannick Gears is playing behind what Dave Murray has uh, been playing. He's playing it down lower on the guitar, giving that lower bass sound to it. So let me just play that through and then again, I'll just break it down for you. And what we're playing there, we're doing a three on the low E, and then we're doing from five to the seven on the D, back to the five, and then open D. So again, back to the three, and then we do a three to five, to the three on the D, open string, back to the three, then we got a one to three on the D, down to the one again, open string, then the three again, and then it's gonna be. So he's playing on the D string, open string, and then we do three on the A, and then three on the E. That's what Yannick Gears is playing behind what I just showed you what Dave Burr is doing. And coming out of that section, we've now got a series of power chords. Uh, very easy to play this. We're just going backwards and forwards between an F chord, and we're holding these for a uh, two bars. We have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, up to a G. One, two, three, four. So we again go back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Same again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, when we hit that G, we then got the two bars, then we've got this movement. So all I'm doing now, I'm doing a B flat five, to an F, to a C, to a G. So we get, back to the C, uh, back to a G. So it's, And as we come out of that last one, we have got a B flat. 
And then we've got a B flat to a C and then to a D. Holds for two bars. And then we have a uh, D sharp to an F. And then it's back to goes back into that sequence there. So now we're going to look what is being played uh, behind the two lead guitar solos. So the first solo is actually by uh, Yannick Gears. So we're looking at what Dave Merrick is playing behind this. Uh, both of them are very similar, but let me just play through the first one. And then that just repeats. What I'm doing there, I'm playing a C5 chord, and then I'm lifting my finger up, so I'm just doing a double stop across the uh, three and three. And then I go up and do a D sharp five chord twice. Then we go back. Then I do a B flat to a G sharp power chord. We go back, repeat it, and we do that twice. Repeat. Now, when it goes across to Dave Murray's, what we do, we just move up a whole tone. So we go. So we're just playing this on a D5, going to that double stop on the five. To an F, goes back, and a C to B flat. Now from that section, once we have finished with that solo, it goes back to that. It goes back to that section, so it does. And the actual structure of this song is relatively easy. We start off with the riff that we play through, then we go into the verse sections that we covered, and then we go to then to that arpeggiated bit. And then, of course, we've got that long bridge section, just go between the F and the G, backwards and forwards. From there, it goes all the way back, repeats everything all the way through. We come back to the long section, and then we go into the guitar solos. Guitar solos are played through, and then, as I've said before, we go back to that little second part of the verse, we play through that section, and then we go through the arpeggiated section, and that arpeggiated section takes us to the end of the song. So we have covered all of the rhythm guitar parts for this song. It's relatively easy, not as normal. You know, we haven't got seven minutes of multiple guitar riffs being played here whatsoever. So it is a fun song to play. Obviously, the challenge is the speed. 240 beats per minute, this is really it does kick it so playing that riff takes a little bit of time to get that locked in on the actual count so you know you're going to enjoy it though it's a fun song to play along with and you don't have to worry about dual harmonies to get the whole sound of the song you can play this by yourself so as i've said previously i am going to include a backing track that's going to be on my premium channel i am going to be working on the guitar solos as well which will be posted in the very very near future well, I am going to let you go so you can get on and start to enjoy learning this song. If you've got any comments, put it down below. Love to hear any new comments. I know I get lots of requests for different Iron Maiden songs that are coming through. They are on the list. I am working through them as we speak at the moment. Well, this is Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com. I'm wishing you well, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Until then... Goodbye.